I'm ready. Alright, press record? Yep. Alright, nice. We're here <laughs> with the lead singer of Artist First Coin on the Fearless Friends Tour 2010. Your name? Tarsi. Tarsi. Alright, do you have any tattoos by chance? Uh, I have one. I'm not really proud of it, but. Uh, I think we all have one of those. Yeah, I have a bunch of those. <laughs> it's, uh, well, I got it when I was like 16. I still gotta get a test shot. I'm getting a, I'm getting a whole, a little half sleeve, but I've just been procrastinating for a while. Um, but it's, oh god damn it! <laughs> it was supposed to be a treble clef. Oh no! I know. That's why I'm so. But but but. It's a treble clef. Tribal, like tribal. That's what I named it. <laughs> right, a little tribal club. That works, man. That's um, why I hate it. <laughs> so much. In 2008, when you were signed to Fearless Records, how did it make you feel? As, how did it make you guys feel as a band since you're pretty much like a, a new band on a very popular indie label like Fearless Records? Amazing. I mean, um, we went out on our first tour and we went to LA, and then Bob Becker, the owner of Fearless, was there, and he just saw us and brought us in the office and signed us two weeks later so I mean it was actually it was surreal to us like still I mean it still hasn't really sunk in Sunken, yeah. and it's been like two years so um, it's cool I mean we've all wanted to do this as a dream and uh, now we're actually making it happen so it's it's amazing sweet now your your debut self-titled EP that was released in 2008 which was produced by Mike Green who did acts like Paramore how was it making the, the EP and also working with Mike um Mike is the shit He's a weird dude, weird ass <laughs> dude, but he's real cool. Uh, he's an amazing producer, writer, like anything, like musician. He shreds a guitar, shreds. He's stupid. Um, and it was awesome. I mean, our first release on a, on a label was it was insane. Like we still don't know. Like I, I like literally, like we're still just kind of in a ball. Right on. Um, and how does it make you guys feel that your music has already been featured on uh, MTV's The Real World and uh, Parental Control and have an alternative press call you guys one of the top 100 bands you need to know in 2009 and 2010? I don't know why they did that. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> We're horrible. No. Uh, it's, it's awesome. It's... Like, I, I, I have... I don't know. It's weird. It's so weird. Because it's like... Not used to yet? Yeah, no, no. Kids will come up to me and like, Hey, I heard you on uh, Bones or whatever. And it's like... <laughs> Uh, okay, that's tight. <laughs> it's real awesome. Sweet. And on Punk Goes Pop Volume 3, how was it covering Lady Gaga's song Bad Romance? Uh, was it a song that you guys picked? Um, yeah, we had like a list of like 60 songs to choose from from Fearless. So we picked that one just because like it translated the best to a rock song. Um, and plus, she's had like nine singles on her album. <laughs> it's bound to work, right? It um, sounded really good live. Thanks, appreciate it. Yeah, really it was good. awesome. No, we tried to make it a rock song, so... Um, you guys have any crazy fan or tour stories? Honestly, we are we're one of those bands that are not like um, trying to be better than our fans. So we befriend every single fan that we have, and um, we don't really have any crazy fan stories because we don't have any stalkers like that. Like if they become stalkers, we're like, hey, let's hang out. You know what? Let's have a I good time. I think those girls that were beside us okay. might become yeah. stalkers. Yeah, I haven't met them yet. That scares me. <laughs> Yeah, they really, they really wanted to get back there with the security guys. Like, no, nope, you gotta have one of these. Oh god, oh god. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, it's it's cool. The fans are awesome. Like, we, I, I'll just say this to the day I die. We have the best fans in the world for sure. Hands down. Yeah, they, they definitely uh, loved your show. They're sick, dude. Love them. <laughs> now, besides from what you're doing right now, do you guys have any side projects going on? Um, not too much. I mean, my brother's doing some stuff that I'm working with, and it's just myspace.com/slash Tavi T A U V Y. And I'm kind of helping them out with some stuff when we're writing the other. So that's that's pretty much it. It's like really indie, kind of soulful music. So it's cool. Sweet. Um, now, what is the meaning and the inspiration behind your band name, Artist vs. Poet? Damn it! I hate this question. <laughs> the, the reason I hate this question is because I, I, I made up this name like six years ago. And it's not... There's nothing really into it. Like, it's there's no story behind the name. Just Which, his name is. Pick. I, I, I'm trying to work up a story, a bullshit story, <laughs> just so like questions like this. But honestly, I just didn't like band names out there, like except for like, of course, faves. But just when I made the band name, I was like, man, everything new is just retarded. There's not good band names out there, and I was like, okay, this sounds cool. Why not? I just did that. Sweet. <clears throat> Uh, do you guys have any pre-show uh, rituals that you guys perform? <laughs> yeah, we do a pump up. <laughs> it's uh, can't really yeah, yeah, I can't really say it on camera, 
Uh, it's just because it's kind of a only the people in the band and our crew know what it is. Um, but it's a pump up. We all huddle up and we chant something. Gotcha. Having to do with Satan. <laughs> hey, to each his own, right? <laughs> And last but not least, what does the future hold for Artist First Poet? Any new albums? Uh, any other tours? Uh, what can your fans expect? We are going to, uh, right after this tour, we're just going to write. We're going to write the new record. Um, nice. And just try to get something out there new and fresh. So, that's it. Sweet, man. Definitely thank oh, yeah. you for taking time for tonight.